Hi, welcome to the channel, Budget Audio Review and Upgrades. And if you haven't already subscribed or liked, please consider that. We'll help the channel and uh, I'll get more stuff. And hopefully something you're interested in to come along uh, somewhere along the line and something maybe you're thinking of buying or something like that. Just want my take and my review. Obviously, this is just my opinion. Everyone's opinions are different. This is just no... You know, comparing it with other speakers and amplifiers and all different stuff, comparing one against the other, and they sounded to me. And um, you know, I, I, I like a, a variety of type of music, not so much heavy music to be honest with you, but you know, quite a variety of music, not so much this heavy rock. But uh, so bear that in mind. Uh, maybe um, you know, with my reviews, I'm not going to heavy metal or anything like that. Okay, these are the MS Twenty uh, I speakers. Uh, I've got a review of the MS Twenty Five. I speakers, which is basically this speaker in a floor standing cabinet. Uh, so I'll put a little link there, you should see it on the screen. And uh, also, I'm going to be comparing it uh, a bit with this Mordent Short 10. This is not a 10i, this is just a basic Mordent Short 10 speaker. Um, but first of all, anyway, let's spin it around and show you uh, what you get, so to speak, at the back. Uh, now, I've, I've had this sticking out, I just wanted to show you this actually. I did mean to mention it on a few other videos. This is like the base port. Uh, the rear port, you, can, you could have a front one that on your speaker and you'll find a lot of these actually, you know, you could twiddle about with this just a little bit, you know, just change that bass uh, frequency a little bit, just extend it or, you know, just the tone of the bass, so to speak. By moving this about, um, something you may want to experiment about, but obviously you can move the speaker into different parts of the room and all that, obviously take effect as well, but to me you could really, you know, you could take this completely out, obviously not the, as the manufacturer you wanted you to do it, uh, it won't be in there, uh, but it's just so you can experiment with. It's all about experimenting, really, I think, and getting the sound you like. It may not be the conventional sound that everyone else likes, but, you know, just the sound that you like. When I say take it completely out, you could probably just have it, hopefully you can pick that up, you know, just sticking out. It's still in there tight, it's not going anywhere. Stick it out an inch, and it will make that little bit of a, a subtle difference, uh, and just push it back. Uh, it's not actually, most of them are not stuck in there. It's just kind of got some grips around the plastic tube, just like the thought I mentioned. Okay, these are uh, 8 ohms, 89 dB sensitivity. So, yeah, borderline for us, I think, you know, with these um, with low power amplifiers, um, you know, some I've got some 30 watt ones in there, but nothing like 50, 100 watts and all that, uh, and some low as 8 watts. So, uh, it's borderline for them, really, like you would be. You, you wouldn't want to go any below 89 dB for my kind of setup, my kind of uh, maybe subscribers at the moment. I don't know, but anyway, uh, if you've got a bigger amp, you know, you're going to be fine. These are rated at 75 watts. Biwireable. I will do a little video, I think, about my take on maybe biwireable. I did try these by wired and I tried them normally, and I've got to be honest, I mean, it's no good me saying, oh, you heard a difference and all that. I didn't really hear a difference, you know, I must be honest. I tried it with about four or five different cables as well. Uh, bear in mind, again, these are budget speakers, budget amplifier, and I'm using budget cables. I think the best cable I've probably got is the QED79 strand. And it's probably about two pound a meter, something like that. So, you know, I've got 100 pound a meter cables, nothing like that. It'd be a bit pointless if you're paying 100 quid for a cable and the rest of your setup's only worth 200 quid. So, you've got to keep it like in line, so to speak. I think, obviously, if I went up in amplifiers, um, components, all that kind of stuff, I'll maybe up the cables to a more expensive one. Okay, so yeah, I didn't really hear a difference with the bio one. I so we'll do a video about the bio one. So, if we take the front off, this is basically the same as the 25i speaker that I've only reviewed, the same drivers same tweeter etc inside okay um, like I say this is the 10 this is just the more short 10 so I'm going to kind of compare the sound against each other as well um, and maybe I may mention the Gal uh, two tens that I've got as well in the background you probably can't see them but I may I tweeted about with all these free speakers and a couple of other pairs and I've tried I think about four receiver stroke amps on it uh, to give it a fair test and I, I played a variety of music like I say but uh, I'm a big Bondy fan you probably I may have mentioned it a couple of times and the trouble is when I start playing a bit of music I end up playing two or three albums of them and uh, it takes a bit longer than I think but I um, made a bit of um, Dina Carroll Lisa Stansfield Simply Red um, who else um, uh, I forgot her name but anyway someone else um, I was just going to say it, Gloria Estefan as well so a bit of variety of music there I think uh, to go through the testing of uh, most of my stuff, I would have said. Uh, so, how did these sound? I mean, I, I don't you know, I've got to be a truthful as I heard it. Like, you with me? I, I bought these as most of my other stuff to sell back, and I'm gonna buy it, do a little test, and resell it again. So, um, you know, it'd be my advantage to I usually give a link to my actual review of them as well. Um, so, it'd be my advantage to say these were fantastic, you know, these are the nuts kind of thing. But I've got to be honest, you know. 
I didn't really rate them that much. To be honest with you, um, looking at the reviews, a lot of people rated rated these speakers at the time, um, but I just I just I just didn't like them. To be honest with you, I didn't really like them. They, they lacked in quite a few places. I think I found the bass. Um, the bass was like a bit muddly. It was just a one tone bass. It really was. You know, uh, I think Stereo Review X uh, kind of mentions this bass a lot, one tone and all that. And it really is because I mean Blondie. Uh, Clem Burp, uh, he loves smashing around the drums. I say smashing, he likes going around the drums. Obviously, he does it properly, you know, just smashing it everywhere. But um, he likes, you know, if you look at any of his videos, like uh, any of the Blondie songs, and they're concentrating on Clem, he does, uh, he does like giving the drums a good, you know, going around the kit, so to speak. And with this, the, the, the bass, the drums part of it, it felt, it felt, um, it felt he had a smaller kit. I think that's, that's, that's a fair assumption, really. Like the bass drum, it's still got the same bass. It's just a boom bass, and it kind of like, it was a boom and didn't really go on for that long. Uh, when you compare it to these, even though these are smaller speakers, and obviously it's not got quite as much bass as these, these are kind of a bit, a bit bass, a bit more bass amplifiers, like, you know, a bit more bass forward. Not bass bass forward, like, the sound is like, towards the bass part of it. They're kind of pushing that bass to make it sound bass than probably what it is. I think, you know what I mean? A bit more bass empathy or whatever. Uh, the bass sounded much more natural on here and you could pick out as you going around you could like it weren't just a one tone bass so to speak and especially on the gals uh two tens i've got the gal speakers there you could hear them drums you could like you could feel this the stick it in the skin so to speak of the drum where well, you couldn't on here and it felt like he's, he's got that bass he's hitting the bass drum and as he's going around the kit them drums have been swapped you know instead of having like a 14 inch snare and a full uh, 10 inch toms he's got a toy kit like you know i mean the toy kits arrive and he's got they're all gone half the size so to speak kind of give that kind of sound you know what i mean it was like they're all shrunk in size so you, you know if you're a person that likes following the drums and listening to that you're going to get it's not going to show up on here you know what i mean you're not going to hear it on here i don't think um with the amps and that and stuff i've used and the records i played and etc cds i played and etc i weren't getting you know the bass it's got a thumping bass so to speak you know, it ain't thumping thump, but it's got a bass to it but it's a one note bass like you know what i mean it really is um so yeah I, you know that's disappointing when you compare it with these other things. this has got more this is more of a narrow sound as well i think this is like a constraint sound it's more in the box so to speak this is more like an open sound the morning short 25 eyes are more of an open more detailed sound than this that's for definite even though it's got the same drivers and that in there I, I don't know why maybe it's just the cabinet picking it up better maybe the crossover slightly different or something like that, the frequencies they're using or something like that it just sounded so much better the uh, ms 25 eyes to these ms 20s the treble was a bit lacking i thought um it wasn't so, you know it was there it wasn't so much clarity you know it's because the ms ms um tens the treble was much better the uh, gal two tens i've got there the treble was much more better on them I mean, they can be a little bit on the, on the bright side anyway them speakers but um, you're in so much more detail on that compared to these so i was a bit disappointed obviously i'm using my amp with a bass on zero and the treble on zero you can help them out a bit i'll turn the treble to about two or three to be honest with you to try and help that treble out and i in fact turn the bass down a little bit and you kind of got one at 10 o'clock one at two o'clock so to speak the bass and treble to try and get rid of that bassiness to these that have kind of pushed the bass forward so to speak uh get rid of that and it's kind of like muddling that bass muddles it up a bit like making you know, it makes it a bit muddling in there like you and me it was that kind of thing i'll tell you how it sounded would be a, a really you know, maybe going over the top a bit but maybe in a fair extent, uh, um, explanation of what you're kind of hearing here is that um, if you're stuck with you know, a decent set of speakers on in your living room or wherever and it on fairly loud and you're listening it sounds nice and you go out and shut the door behind you that's how it sounded so to speak you know it kind of sounded like it's come, you're listening to it in the other room with the door shut you know maybe over exaggerating there but that's how they sounded like you know what i mean the detail the, the trip it was so much stuff that kind of got absorbed and disappeared so to speak so um yeah i mean i weren't over keen on the vocals was all right but i think the vocals it's kind of like went down and i wouldn't say an octave because i don't know what one octave from another actually sounds like so to speak and you could say it's definitely one octave but it seems to come down you know in tone the tone would come down a little bit um yeah all in all I, I weren't over impressed i've got you know i've got to say that you know uh, they're okay you know what i mean if you're going to go and buy a pair for 30 or 40 pounds well they're okay i suppose you know what i mean i won't put you off of them i won't put any you know i kind of give the wolfdale uh, 9.0 not a very good review but you know, i won't put you off of them you know what i mean if you fancy them go and get them so to speak but don't pay over the odds from 
So if you pay forty pound, that'd be top, absolute tops to go and get these. In my opinion, because I think you'll get. I think you'd be much, even though this is a smaller speaker, it's got less bass, but it's a clearer, more detailed bass. You know, what I mean, even though it's, it's not it's got so much of a thump to it, it's still more. You're going to get more pleasure out of that. These weren't alive, you know. What I mean, it's just right. I mean, I'm, I'm doing this all by memory. I've written a few things down here as well. Um, there's a bit, it's, you know, the bass had a bit of weight, you know, weight that should be there behind it. Um, you know, I just thought there's no dynamics to it. I didn't think, you know, what I mean, there's no dynamics. There's no like excitement in it. There's no excitement. I didn't think it was just plain Jane. Really, it was, you know, it's just mundane. I've got written down here. This is how, you know, they just try to stay safe. Nothing's, you know, I don't know what it is. He just, just didn't like it. There's no get up and go I've got here. Um, yeah, it's, 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 I think the vocals and that, you know, most of it's brought down by that bass emphasis on the bass, like they're kind of like giving it bass when it weren't there, so to speak. You know what I mean? That, it was like um, listening through the stereo through a subwoofer, so to speak. You know, that kind of, obviously not that bad, but that kind of effect. So, um, yeah, all in all, I can't really... Like I say, if you want to get them, get them, don't let me put you up, but don't pay them more than 40 quid. Def definitely don't pay more than that. And seriously, consider getting this. You know, you think these would be worse, or these would be better, should I say, because you're going up. You're going up in size of speak, you're going up in size of range, even though this is a slightly older model. But they've lost it here. I think, you know, I mean, this, this ain't, you know, it's definitely not the case here, I don't think, you know, I mean, my opinion. And if you were, you know, I'd rather get, definitely get the 25 eyes than these, you know what I mean? You know, this obviously can take up a lot more room, it's not a bookshelf speaker. But they're, they're miles better than these. Miles better, even though it's the same kind of uh, same kind of things inside, same units inside, same kind of like. Uh, I'm not too sure exactly about the crossover, so I can't really 100% comment, you know, commentate on that. Maybe the frequencies are cut off at different places or something like that. So all in all, that is really my um, my review of them. Um, I don't really have to say much more to them. I usually take show you a picture of what's inside and all that. And I, you know, after hearing them, and that, I thought, oh, I can't be bothered really. Like, you know what I mean? It's not a speaker that I want to say to you, rush out and get or put on your short list or look out for it, or, or it's pretty good. I think you've kind of got the idea of what I thought of them. You know what I mean? I'm not over impressed. I'm going to stick these back on eBay at some stage. In fact, I'm actually um, separate these. I was thinking a few people are reading on forums and that, you know, if I can maybe help out, you know, not to make any profit really, like just time them. That is that some people are looking for tweeters and some people are looking for drivers on these speakers. So it's more, more the tweeters, I think, um, rather than have to buy a pair of speakers and pay the extra, you know, 10, 12 pound postage or whatever, I might just sell the tweeters. And I may, I'm, I'm toying about with that idea, maybe I have to uh, help a few people out uh, rather than sending the speakers as they are some spare parts. And I'm, in fact, I was thinking maybe, I haven't really got the time, but if I did have the time, maybe doing that on a few of my older amplifiers and that where people are looking for parts. Anyway, it's a different story. Thanks for watching and until the next video, I'll see you all soon.